Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be making some seared ahi tuna steaks with a creamy wasabi mayo. These are gonna be so delicious, so let's get started. So ahi tuna is a really quick thing to make. You really just need to um, sear it for about a minute or two on each side because you're not trying to cook it all the way through. You still want it to be rare in the middle basically, but you want to get a nice crust. So the first thing I'm gonna do, so I'm just gonna pat these dry with a paper towel just so it's really easier for them to sear. And I'm gonna end up coating these with some sesame seeds. So now that we've taken off the slimy juices of the tuna, we can go on with some vegetable oil. This is gonna help the sesame seeds stick. Right here, I have some sesame seeds and I'm gonna coat the tuna with these. And these are gonna provide some texture and some extra flavor to these steaks. So now both sides of my tuna have been coated in sesame seeds and right up, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to coat the sides as well. As you can see we finished our tuna so we, now we can set these to the side and get ready to sear them. I'm going to go in the pan with an, enough vegetable oil to coat the bottom. And like I said earlier, these are only going to take one or two minutes and basically what you're looking for is to get that nice crust and just a little bit of cooking on the bottom and really each side. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn this pan on to a medium high. So my pan has come up to heat so I'm just going to drop these in and let these cook through. And remember, don't cook these for too long. I know I've said it a lot but it's not going to hurt to eat a little bit of rare tuna. That's how it's supposed to be eaten. So I'm going to let these go for about a minute and two, two minutes. After a quick minute and a half, these are ready to flip. Just like that, these are already done. These tunas are looking so beautiful, but we're not done yet because we have to make this wasabi mayo. So right here for this sauce, all we're going to need is wasabi, mayo, and I'm gonna add a little bit of flaky salt. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my mayo. So I have no exact measurements for this, but all I can say is just do it as you like your taste. Taste as you go. So right there we have our mayo. Now we're just gonna go in with some of our wasabi. Now right here I have my wasabi and mayo. I'm just gonna mix this around and then taste it and then see what I can add. After tasting that, I definitely went strong on the wasabi, so I'm gonna go in with some more mayo. Now that I've found the right amount of wasabi and mayo, I'm going to go in with some flaky salt. Alrighty everyone, now we can cut into these beautiful steaks. This is so tender, it almost falls apart while I'm cutting it. Beautiful pink center, and that's exactly what you want when you're making this. Alrighty everyone, we can go ahead and give these a taste. I'm just going to cut off a perfect piece of the tuna. Just like that. That is literally perfect. Now our perfect tuna right here, I can feel it's nice and warm in the center. You don't want to cook it much. You just want to have a nice warm center. And now with this, I can go in a little dip of my mayo. And right here you have the perfect ahi tuna. Everyone, that is just perfect. So the tuna, the, toast, the sesame seeds have a nice toasted flavor. The tuna is nice and just warm on the center. That's exactly what you want. Then this mayonnaise adds an extra creaminess and spiciness to the tuna when you dip it in it's just a perfect combo um i got this idea from one of my favorite restaurants um and so i just tried to recreate it and it went pretty well anyways make sure to give this one a go i'll see you in the next one